Hey folks, I come out here to bring you today the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He came to the earth. He came to the earth and He died on that cross for your sins, you and I. He was dead and buried. He arose again on the third day. He defeated death. He's the only way to God. Folks, we must all realize that we'll all die one day. We'll all stand before God one day. And we'll have to give an account for the deeds done in our body. None of us are righteous, the Bible says. That means that none of us are good. Our good works will not save us, folks. The Bible says our works are but filthy rags in the sight of God. So a lot of man-made religions will tell you that you can out have your, out your good works outweigh your bad. But that's not the truth. That's not the truth. Our sin separates us from God, folks. This might be our lying. This might be our stealing. Our blaspheming God's name. This might be our idolatry, anything we said above God, folks. All of these sins separate us from God. And you have to realize who God is. God's attributes, He is holy. That means nothing sinful will enter His presence. God is just. That means all sin must be punished, folks. All sin must be punished. When Jesus Christ went to that cross, when He went to that cross and all the sins of the world came upon Jesus Christ, Jesus cried out and He said, My Father, Father, why have Thou forsaken Me? Because in that moment, in that moment, God the Father turned His faith from His only Son because of the sins of the world were on Him. So what makes you think that you'll enter the heaven in your sins, folks? You won't. You need a Savior. You must judge yourself against God's holy standard. The Bible says, All lies shall inherit their part and the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. The Bible says that the thieves will not inherit the kingdom of God. The Bible says, God will not hold those guiltless who take the Lord's name in vain, folks. I'll judge myself first. I'll judge myself first, folks. I'll judge you of my faults first. I lied. I have stolen. I have taken the Lord's name in vain. Folks, I have done all these things. I was a wretched sinner. A wretched sinner. There was times in my life where I was on my couch and my wife, while she was sleeping, you know what I was doing? I was watching pornography. And the Bible says, it was said to those of the old, you should not commit adultery. But I say to you that whoever looks to a woman to lust for her, has already committed adultery in their hearts, folks. This was me. I'm not out here to judge you. I'm let to let you know that I was born again. I was born again in my living room couch. I cried out to God. In a second, sir, let me get the gospel out. I cried out to God. I said, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I've broken your laws and I transgressed against your laws. You know where he saved me? He saved me on my living room couch. Not even in a church building, folks. The Spirit of God came inside of me, and He changed me and made me new. Now I strive after the living the righteousness of Christ. I seek holiness, and I want Jesus all the days of my life. Oh, folks, I have to tell you, you must repent today. Repent today, the Bible says, that you will all likewise perish. There is a place called hell, and I have to warn you. The wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. So anyone who continues in their sin, anyone who continues to practice sin, one day you will go to a place called hell. The lake of fire is a place of the everlasting fire. It's a place of weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. One day we will stand before God and judgment will come upon you. But the good news is, the good news is that Jesus Christ came to the earth, fully God and fully man. He died on that cross for your sins, you and I. He was dead and buried. He arose again on the third day. He defeated death. He's the only way to God. John 14, 6 says, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. The book of Acts says, There is only one name under heaven given to mankind by which you must be saved. It's the name Jesus Christ, folks. No one else will save you. No one else rose from the dead. Can you raise yourself from the dead? I know I can't. I want to live for eternity, and I don't want to live for eternity in hell. I want to live in eternity with God. Cry out to Him today. Realize that you're dead in your sin, but Jesus can save you. He can save you. God is full of, so full of grace, folks. Grace means it's a gift that we can't earn. Grace is a gift we can't earn. Jesus Christ coming to the earth and dying for our sins and rising again. We can't earn that. Ephesians 2.8.9 says, For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith. And this is not of yourselves. It is the gift of God and not by works so that no man can boast. Folks, we can't boast in it. We can't boast in it. And man-made religion will tell you to have your good works outweigh your bad. But folks, if you follow a man-made religion that tells you to outweigh your good works, how do you know when you made it to heaven? You don't trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. In trust in Him. The Bible says repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. What does repentance mean? Repentance means that you turn to God 
and you turn from your sin. You turn to God, ask for forgiveness in your sin, forsake your sin, and He'll have mercy on you. He will have mercy on you, folks, but cry out to Him today in repentance. Cry out to Him today. Turn to God and turn from your sin, folks. You can't do it on your own. The Bible says we must be born again. We must be born again. The Bible says there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night. And he said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God because no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with them. Jesus said to him, most surely I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I say to you that you must be born again. Folks, first we're born into this sinful world. First we're born into this sinful world through our parents. And then we're all led astray by our own temptations and lusts. And fully conceived, lust brings forth sin. And sin fully grown brings forth death, folks. It brings forth death. Ten out of ten people die. So it must be a spiritual death. A separation from God. Please repent today, folks. I love you. I love you so much. That's what drives me out here. I've had people threaten my life. But I come out here to give you the love of Christ. Jesus can save you. Please turn today. Repent today, folks. Repent and turn to Jesus Christ. Oh, God bless. God bless. Here you go. God bless. God bless. Oh, praise God. Here you go. God bless. Sir, no, I wasn't trying to cut you off. I just wanted to get the gospel out. I would be happy to talk to you, sir. I would absolutely be happy to talk to you. See, one thing I come out here because I love everybody. I one love thing everybody I learned about the Bible, well, yeah. this is what the Bible taught me. Okay? As much as we love to talk, mm -hmm. we should listen. Because if we're not talking and listening to each other, then yeah. one of us is being ignorant. Amen, amen, amen. But I had to get the gospel out because I wanted everybody to see. But I came out of here respect because I, I, you know, I love you, sir. I love you, and I came out here. That's why I give the gospel. And we have to realize that we're all dead in our sin. We're all, we're all. Yeah, what I love in a way that I'm willing to lay my life down to bring the gospel out. I'm willing to lay my life out because it's one day we're gonna die, folks. We're gonna die, and we have to stand before God. Loves me. Oh, no, 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 no. That's why I come out here. I've had people tell me they want to slit my throat. They want to slit my throat for this, and I'm giving them love, the love of the gospel. Sir, know that I love you, and that's why I came out here today. Can I, can I at least, will you at least take a gospel track for me, sir? Will you take the, will you take the gospel track and read it for me? You can read it. All right, God bless you, sir. God bless. God bless. Hi, folks. Gospel tracks. Anybody sharing the gospel tracks? Anybody want a gospel track? Jesus Christ. There you go. Oh, God bless. God bless. There you go. Hi, folks. Gospel track. Gospel track, sir. There you go. God bless, sir. God bless. It's not real money. It's not real, but it's a gospel message on the back. So you can't spend it. Folks, the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ, sir. The gospel of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hi, folks. Sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, sir. The gospel of Jesus. God bless. Hi, folks. Sharing the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Sharing the gospel, sir. The gospel of Jesus Christ, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I got all the schedules. Hi, guys. I'm sharing the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Gospel. Here you go, sir. You can't spend it. You can't spend it. Come to the bathroom, sir. Hi, ladies. Hi, ladies. I'm sharing the gospel, ladies. Sharing the gospel. Gospel. Here you go, ladies. Sharing the gospel. Gospel. God bless. God bless. Hi, folks. I'm sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Gospel. You can't spend it, but if you read the back, it'll help you, okay? There you go, sir. Have a good day. Have a good day. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ, sir. There you go. Have a good day, sir. Have a good day. Hi, miss. Hi, ma'am. I'm sharing the gospel. I'm sharing the gospel. 